Happy Valentine's Day! If you're looking to make a really simple, easy, and yet beautiful cake for Valentine's, this Valentine's for your special someone, and you need some ideas, I've got just the thing for you. Hi, I'm Amanda Vandergulik from CleverDoughCakes.com where you get to find fun cake decorating ideas, delicious recipes, so make sure if those are interesting to you that you click subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll know the minute my next video comes out. Today I'm going to share with you some really fun, simple and yummy ideas for Valentine's cakes. We're getting very close to Valentine's Day and you might want to do something special for that special someone in your life. So I'm going to share with you some of the cakes that I've made over the years for Valentine's Day and other occasions that are also great to use for Valentine's Day. And then I'm going to share with you some of my fellow cake decorating colleagues here on YouTube that I think you will really enjoy and get inspired by. We're going to go over a couple of their Valentine's Day cake and cookie ideas. Alright, so let's start off first with just a simple heart cake idea that you can do super quick. You just bake yourself either a round cake or a rectangular cake and cut out the shape of a heart. This is a cake that I made for my best friend's birthday, but it could be used so easily as a Valentine's Day last minute cake. Super yummy, super simple. You can actually find the recipe for this cake, which is a vanilla sponge cake in this video over here. And you can check out the delicious mocha buttercream icing frosting that I made for this cake in this video over here. Another really fun cake that I made was actually with my kiddos when they were younger. We used a butterfly baking pan and then we used the wings to cut out the shape of the top of the heart and we just brought it in like a triangle at the bottom. As you can see right here, it's covered in that delicious mocha buttercream icing that I already mentioned and we just cut out a piece of fondant that we made ourselves for marshmallows. You can check out how to make your own marshmallow fondant right here. Making a Valentine's Day cake does not have to be difficult to make the person that you love feel special. I also made a very simple heart cake and took different colors of the mocha icing. Yes, I'm a little bit addicted to mocha icing. I love coffee. Who else loves coffee? Give me a thumbs up if you love coffee as much as I do. So as you can see, again, a simple buttercream coating on the top and then blobs of the different colors. I again been working on other cakes and I had leftover icing, so I used the leftover icing to decorate the cake. Now you don't always have to make a cake in the shape of a heart. You can also put a heart on a regular square cake or a round cake, like the one I made for my friend over here. So those are some really simple quick ideas that you could do to create a cake for your special one this Valentine's that won't take very long. Again, I'm going to link the playlist to the vanilla sponge cake recipe, the mocha icing recipe, and to my homemade marshmallow fondant recipe so that you can make those for your own special someone. And in the description below, there's also a link to a free ebook that you can download today. It's got my marshmallow fondant recipe right in there so that you can have it easy on hand because I don't know about you but fondant is crazy expensive to make right give me a thumbs up if you agree and not only is it super expensive it's sickly sweet and most people when they receive a cake with fondant on top not everybody but most people will actually avoid the fondant because it doesn't taste good marshmallow fondant tastes delicious you will love it so make sure you download the free ebook with the marshmallow fondant recipe inside so that you always have it with you and you can make fondant in the blink of an eye all right so now i want to share with you some of my favorite youtubers fellow cake decorating mentors of mine two of them in particular one her name is rosanna pansino she's very well known from her nerdy nummies and i feel very closely connected to her because i am a nerd at heart as well although not nearly as adorable as she is the second cake decorator that I want to share with you today is my fellow Torontonian, although I'm north of Toronto, but close enough, my fellow Ontarian, Yolanda Gamp. And again, she is amazing, um, although much more precise than I am. She's well known for her measuring sticks. So let's first take a look at some of Rosanna Pensino's wonderful, easy, delicious, and just super fun and adorable cake and 
cookie ideas for Valentine's Day. Now Rosanna, as I mentioned before, is well known for her Nerdy Nummies channel because she is a geek like me who also loves decorating cakes like me. And I feel like that's why I felt so connected to her. Plus, she is absolutely adorable. Um, you just, you want to watch her videos. They are just so adorable to watch. And she just inspires you and makes you incredibly happy every time you watch her video. So this first one is actually, it's a heart-shaped cookie, but it's a pixelated heart shape. And she actually created a special cookie cutter in the form of her Nerdy Nummies pixelated heart shape so that it would be easier to cut out the cookies, the sugar cookies, and then bake those and then decorate them. And as you can see in her video here, she decorates the outside with a black edge, a nice red in the center, and then she puts the little white highlight in there to catch the light. Another really cute and simple and super delicious treat that she made for Valentine's, she did this one together with her boyfriend Mike, who is known as Husky here on YouTube and on every social media platform as well. And what she did is she made X and O's churros. So X and O churros. And churros, I don't know if you've ever had a churro, but they are so delicious. It's so cute, so adorable. I can't wait to try it. When I do, I'll take a video so you can see what that turns out like. And I'll add it to this playlist. I've created a special playlist for Valentine's Day cake and cookie and other treat ideas for you. And you can check that out over here. All right, so one of the cakes that Rosanna made that I am personally really, really, really in love with is what she calls a portal cake. I call it a hidden treasure cake. And what she did is she's actually put, if you have a look over here, she's put a heart in the center of the cake. So when you cut the cake, each person gets a slice of cake with a heart in it. And I was really curious how she did this. So I, of course, watched her video. I watch all her videos because, again, she's so adorable. And she comes up with some great ideas. And I noticed that she actually made a special pan to make it real easy. I'm going to put links in the description below to her cookie cutters and her cake pans for you. They save you so much time. Personally, what I would have done is I would have made the two cakes. And instead of using the pan to have the shape of the heart, I would have actually just used a knife or a spoon and scooped out on the one level two rounded bits for the top of the heart. And on the other level, a diamond or a triangle cut out. But you can use her pans. It makes it so much easier. Um, but if you don't have the pans, just do it yourself. And um, another option that you could do is you could actually bake muffins or you could bake a flat cake and cut out heart shapes and then line them up, put them in your cake tin, and then pour your batter around it. You can see how I did that in this soccer ball cake that I made for my wife to surprise her a couple of years ago for her birthday. And then you can see exactly how to do that. So yeah, you've got a lot of options there. Another really cute thing that Rosanna Panzino did is she made sugar cookies, but she made them, you know, those conversation hearts that you give your special loved one at Valentine's just to show them how much you love them. So you can see that Rosanna decorated them with conversation hearts and she's used special conversation pieces that mean something to her and her fellow YouTube collaborators but you could do anything on there which actually brings me to my next favorite 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 colleague in the cake decorating field here on YouTube and that is my fellow Ontarian Yolanda Gamp from How to Cake It. Now she is also one of my favorites. I look forward to her videos every Tuesday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. She's so much fun to watch. She is a, a great storyteller and she's just really funny. And one thing that I love about her and that is so completely the opposite of myself is how precise she is. She's literally known for her ruler. <laughs> I measure nothing. She measures everything up, like including where to put sprinkles. It's really adorable and I'm so excited to share her with you so that you can get to enjoy her cake decorating videos as well. So she made conversation heart cakes. They're adorable. You can see them right here. 
And you can see how she just made miniature cakes and made them in the shape of a heart, but inside the cake, when you cut open the cake, there are conversation heart candies inside. A cake that Yolanda did recently is actually a Tiffany jewelry box cake. A Tiffany box, but it's a cake. And the really cool thing, besides the fact that it is precise, she used her ruler, but the really cool thing about her cake, and I was blown away by this, because when I saw the picture, you can see it right here, when I saw the picture of the, the necklace laying in the cake, I could see the cotton padding underneath, and I was really curious how she was going to make that, because I know as a cake decorator there are certain ingredients that don't work together that will actually end up destroying each other. And so I knew she couldn't have used just cotton candy and put it on top of her buttercream icing because that would melt the cotton candy and you just end up with a syrupy mess. So I was wondering if maybe she used fondant and textured the cake and then put the fondant on, but that'd be an awful lot of work. And when I watched the video, I was pleasantly surprised. She actually did use cotton candy, which by the way, white cotton candy is apparently really hard to come by. I actually have a cotton candy making machine so we can make our own cotton candy, which would make that task a lot easier. I'll put a link to a cotton candy maker in the description for you as well in case you ever want to make your own cotton candy. So what she did, she had the white cotton candy, then she put on top of her buttercream she put edible paper and edible paper won't eat away at the cotton candy so she first put the edible paper down then she put the cotton candy on top of that another really fun technique that Yolanda did recently when she made another Valentine's Day cake you can see that one over here take a look do you see how there's like a ribbed effect on the side of the cake now the cake is super smooth and yet you see lines of white and pink really small and close together, but they're not bubbled on. And you wonder, how do you do that? In this video, she shows a special technique where she puts on the icing, combs the icing, lets that chill, then puts on the other color of icing, the offset color, and then bench scrapes that around to remove the excess and the soft icing goes into the holes of the hard icing. Honestly, you just have to watch her video to see how she does it, but it's such a beautiful effect and it'll make people wonder, how on earth did you do that? And yet it's so simple. And the last really fun and simple Valentine's cake idea that I can give to you today is also from Yolanda Camp. And you can see here that she's made some mini cakes and she's used some raspberry and she's crushed up the raspberry pieces and mixed it into her Italian meringue icing that she also has on her channel. So with these miniature cakes, you can see that she has used chocolate ganache on a couple of them and she's used her raspberry icing on the others. It has such a beautiful look to it and it would have a really nice fresh, vibrant taste when you cut into it. I hope you've really enjoyed these Valentine's Day cakes, cookies, and other treat ideas and gotten inspired to make something special for your special someone this Valentine's Day. If you have any other cakes that you have made, I would love to see them. Send them to me. Just hashtag Clever Dough Cakes on Instagram and I'll find them and I can showcase them in any future videos. Oh, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell because otherwise YouTube will not let you know when the next video comes out and you don't want to miss it. All right, so head on over here and check out the full Valentine's Day playlist where you'll see all of the videos that I mentioned today. Don't forget to download your free marshmallow fondant recipe. It's in the description below. I'll see you over here.